to Good Morning Tobago on Tobago Updates. And well, viewers, we are continuing to tell you some of the great things here that are happening in Tobago. Um, I have none other on set with me than Miss Veronica Fortune. And you may know her as the lady with the horses. She's the mm-hmm. owner of Healing for Horses out of Buku. Um, so whenever you're out at Buku and you see the horses mm-hmm. going into the beach and so on, it's such a beautiful sight. Mm-hmm. Well, this is the woman behind it all. So good morning and welcome to you, Miss Veronica. How are you? Good morning, Candice. It's a pleasure to meet you again today in your studio. You came so many times to Buko Point, to our magical park. You came so many times to the beach. I remember you riding Kalakunshin, the black beauty. (laughs) Beautiful experience. Now, I mean, viewers, if you have not ever connected with Healing for Horses, well, you should. Um, it's a pleasure to just interact with the horses. Mm-hmm. There's a, it, it is a beautiful experience in itself to be able to ride them, to learn about them. And this is how you can do it. Um, and so Veronica is here to tell us a little bit about some of the things that are happening this year at Healing for Horses. As of course, you know, Healing for Horses is there. Um, well, actually, let me let you tell the yes. audience about, you know, what, what you. is the mission or the vision for Healing for Horses? So what is what are your purpose? Okay. Um, The mission is we are creating an integrated space for specially abled children and adults where they feel integrated, where they feel integrated in a beautiful, harmonious workplace, basically a household. You know, the magical park is a park where um, we have 12 equines living. So an equine is a horse or a pony. That's Mm -hmm. good to know. And then we also have dogs there. They have, you know, their mission is to um, keep every, everything safe. And then we have some cats. And um, the children and adults, the children, the specially able children, which are coming uh, free of charge to equine nature therapy, they are invited to um, get in touch with themselves. So yeah. now meaning, and you experienced that firsthand, Um, they're learning not only leadership, they're also learning responsibility, which is very, very important. They're learning to find their own superpowers. So especially able children and adults, they're awesome human beings. Mm -hmm. Um, They are people who have in many places not found a space in society. So for example, today we have the joy of learning a research center coming to us. That's a school who caters for especially able children who are on the autism spectrum, who are diagnosed with Down syndrome. And uh, they're an NGO themselves. We invite them every Monday to come. And um, a few of them, they do organic gardening in our creative garden. A few of them, they do art therapy. A few of them maybe want to groom horses and a few of them maybe want to ride. Yes. Okay. And then tomorrow we have the Transform- uh, Transformation School coming. That's a new school which is coming to us. They have 25 children in their um, classroom, which are otherwise not fitting in any other school system. Mm. So they're heavily di- diagnosed with uh, autism or Down syndrome, and they are from the age of three until 18. And you know, um, it, the healing uh, horses, just that interaction with horses, interaction mm-hmm. with the park mm-hmm. that you have set up there mm-hmm. has done remarkable work mm-hmm. with our children who are specially abled, as you would say. You know, so can you tell us a little bit about some of, some of the successes? Thank you that you mentioned the park. So the park has been, uh, the space has been given to us by THA and I want to say thank you to THA. In 2010, the horses were grazing up at Buko Point and then in 2013, we had an accident. One of the horses fell down off the cliff and um, at that point, our, at, you know, London Chief Sec was saying, you know, you may want to think of fencing the land. So we fenced the land, we, that was our first big investment. And then this park started to be created. Mm. So the park is created by the specially able children and adults who work with us, who are enjoying the art therapy, creative gardening, who learn life skills. So that is a point. We are learning life skills, why we are creating a better world using recycled products. So when you go to the park, there's a beautiful riding arena, 66 feet riding arena, 
thatched with um, carrot leaves and um, the poles are old tea and tech poles. We used bamboo, we used the mangrove wood and um, the floor is sand where we practice riding, where we also groom the horses. The first floor is a um, yoga deck. Yeah, and uh, that leads me to, you know, we have to find many ways how to be sustainable. Yes. So um, giving free sessions to not only the specially able children and adults, the frontline workers, the last, um, you know, during the pandemic, we gave free frontline worker retreats, uh, walking with them on the beach, letting them ride the horse because we all need mental balance. Mm -hmm. um, we need to find ways to be sustainable. So we have being with horses as well, which is a business um, which takes people out for a beautiful experience through Tobago's nature, through the village, connecting with the community along the goat race facility, along the wetland, along the mangroves for a long beach ride. And then we go in the water with the horses in the ocean. So this is a way also why a lot of people come to Tobago to ensure that because yeah. that is actually the only place where you can swim the horses in the bay. And the horses also share their passion. As you can see, they're all calmly in the water. The horses are very calm and content. And, and that's they enjoy our philosophy. It. They enjoy it. Because like, I don't know if, if you was, have you ever been swimming in Buku mm -hmm. Beach and um, you've seen the horses come in and you know, and they're just lovely, just, just minding mm -hmm. their own business you know, galloping away in, in the water. They really enjoy themselves. Even when they're on the sand, you see them, you know, rolling around in the sand. It's such a pleasure to see. They're part of community now, yeah. Oh, yeah. I brought you a, a little um, gift, and this is an, another annual fundraiser we do. We um, create a calendar every year where we talk about the mission, the vision, how it was created. Actually, I was inspired by a horse who was living up in Speyside mm. in Starwood, and I, I walked her down in 2007. This is Miss Jennifer, and she, I have to say she passed away oh. in September she turned 34 which is a really really That's deep a age. age a horse is fully grown when they are five and um, a horse can live up to 35 40 years if you mind it well mm -hmm. yeah and Jennifer was the true founder of being and healing with horses so we have the calendar here which shows our beautiful herd members. I brought it today in the studio because I couldn't bring the horses Apollo who came to <laughs> us in 2018 yes. <laughs> So that's a little high. Yes. And then here we have Dulce Dama, the youngest one. She's only five years old, swimming in the ocean. Uh, so beautiful uh, professional photographers who are living in Trinidad and Tobago, but also some of them are living in a, a way. They took these pictures. That's the grazing land just before no man's land. The government allowed us, the horses, to let them do grazing there. So fortunate. And then I also want to say thank you. The Prime Minister allowed us to let the horses run free on the beach during lockdown because he knows how important the water is for the horses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that brings us back to the well-being of um, being and healing with horses. How important it is to take time out, to go out in nature, yes. into the ocean. You know, and we do that with the horses and take the people with us. And I hope you come back again very soon. Certainly. Yeah. Now, you have a lot of activities planned for this year. So can you give us an idea of what is planned so the different ways that people can get connected and mm -hmm. be a part of? Of course. So every month we have a calendar of event. So the calendar of event uh, shows you that we have on Mondays the equine nature therapy. You're welcome to come between 10 and 12 o'clock, uh, you pay 100 TTs, you're going to be invited to come up to the park. And uh, we also have some special needs children there. You can commune not only with the children in the park and with the horses. On Tuesday, you can see it here, we have um, a storytelling with Auntie Oni. Um, and that is from 11 until 1 o'clock. We also have the Tech Force Center coming on Tuesday. And um, what is so beautiful, we also have tourists now joining in. So they connect with community through the specially able children and adults mm. who are in the session. And we were just talking about the park and I just wanted to um, let you know that our vision is that one day we can hand over the park to the community of um, Trinidad and Tobago, to the children. Yeah. So we have a youth board also now who are 
who is being trained nice. to one day lead the foundation, the NGO, who can rescue horses, who can give free sessions to the special needs, who uh, then spreads the vision, a harmonious wave of healing for all, mm. because at the end we have to be all need each other. Yeah, It's important that community comes together and we connect and share our different abilities, our different talents, just like you guys. Thank you for inviting me here to speak about the events. Mm -hmm. And I have not uh, finished. Every um, full moon, we have a beautiful full moon event where you only pay 50 TTs entrance. And we have drummers, we have singers, we have vendors up at the park. If you would like to vend, you're welcome to come and vend yourself. There are people with healthy food, um, homemade goods, uh, so that's happening every full moon from 6 until 9 o'clock. And then what's the significance of that? I know there's some significance behind that, having a, a, a sort of a celebration, if you will, for full moon. The full moon, for us, it's also very practical because we have a lot of uh, debris, like branches, we have to put together every month. And then again, we would like to... Um, celebrate so the youth board members are usually there you know we also give out little tokens we are able to share the park and the space with other community members who don't know the community as well uh, or the park and then we have also a stage where we um, yeah we open up the stage for new um, artists which is always important that we help the children and adults to be showcased mm -hmm. to share their abilities. All right. So what else is on the calendar of events for the year? So we have um, on the monthly calendar on Wednesdays the um, art therapy from 3 until 5 with Lethe, which is a, yeah, a very well-known artist. Her name is Janine Crouch. She's yes. also teaching at the different schools in Tobago as well. She's done Friday. So everyone is welcome to participate for only $100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful art therapy. Um, now, the new thing on the calendar of events on a yearly basis, and you can see that on our homepage, www.being-with-horses.com, is the Retreats with Horses, where you can book yourself in for a one-day retreat. Yeah, we had some um, companies coming and they're bringing their managers for one day retreat just to get out and do something different, be inspired and feel yourself again, starting with a vision board nice. workshop and then having a healthy lunch. And then we are going into a beautiful being with horses session when you where you learn to connect with horses in nature, mm -hmm. because being out in nature itself, it is what gives us the balance again. Certainly. And I can, I can definitely attest to that. Well, uh, Ms. Veronica, uh, could you just give um, the contact details as uh, well for people to connect with you? Because I've, you mentioned so much. So there's so many ways for people to get involved. There's so much to do with mm -hmm. healing with horses. You know, you should, people should make it like a, a, a weekly or a monthly thing. <laughs> so how can they get in contact with you? So whenever you're in, 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 in Buko, you go to the Gala Trace and our office is open from 8 until 12 o'clock. And there's a beautiful um, youth board member in there. Her name is Chelsea Lowe. She's our new administrator. And I'm very proud that we have her with us because she has been with us for about seven years as mm. a student, as a volunteer. And now she's going to be our admin manager. We have a um, souvenir shop there, a merchandise article shop where you can um, find beautiful handcrafted items, also our t-shirts uh, with our logo on and so much more. You can find out about the session. You can register your specially abled child in the um, Love and Magic Info Center where you fill out an assessment form and then we will give you an appointment to come in. You can also register yourself for a beautiful experience with the horses out in Tobago's nature. So we offer a being with horses session up at the park where we groom the horses together, feed them, connect with them and learn riding in the riding arena. You can also register yourself for a beautiful beach session or just a photo session. We have many ways where we um, make ourselves sustainable, which is really important. 
Certainly. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, have you coming for a site visit. I'm uh, very honored um, in half an hour we have Ute König coming. She's the German ambassador. She has not been in our, at our grounds. So I'm looking forward to have her there, introducing her to the specially evil children which we have there. And maybe we can get her to be a part of that. Certainly. All right, viewers, so there you have it. I mean, if you have never experienced any bit of healing with horses, um, if you've never even experienced being near to a horse, this is your opportunity to get connected. Um, you can go as many times as you like. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's, like I said, there's so much to see and do there. And it is a wonderful experience, especially especially for children um, that are struggling. You know, um, we have so many issues that are popping up now. But sometimes that experience with the horses or just, just that experience with nature helps build you up so, so much. So get connected. And well, that's how we're going to have to wrap this morning's show. So thank you, Veronica, again, for being on with us, for sharing all that information. And thank you to you viewers for watching and continuing to show in your love and support. You know, we want to thank you and we appreciate you. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Strong